Hi everyone, it's May Larson here and I have some happy mail that was sent to me by Young Sue. Thank you so much Young Sue. Super kind of you to do this. Um, I was not expecting this but she notified me today to say that she had shipped something for me and um, I had to have Eric go down to the mailbox to see if the package had arrived because it was supposed to have arrived yesterday. So anyway, um, here it is, Young Sue. I am going to unbox this. Nani's here to help me unbox it. I have my address and your address covered just for protection. So anyway, here we go. Nani's going to do the honors of opening up the box. Just be careful. Let's be careful and make sure you don't cut me. Don't cut yourself either. You always cut away from you. Here, move your hand so you're not. Okay, so let's see what we have. It's a mystery box, the surprise box. So let's see what we have. She really packed this up. This is really good, guys. You can stamp on this. You can use it um, on canvases. And what are you laughing at? <laughs> it is. This is tissue. This is valuable. She's laughing at me because she she's, um, you have to think outside the box. So this is beautiful. If you take a piece of, let me move it. I know. I know I'm going on about rice um, wrapping paper, but guys, you can stamp on this. Um, you can add, once you stamp on it, you can apply some Mod Podge and apply it to furniture, apply it to canvases, and you can do some amazing stuff with this rice paper. And waste not, want not, I am in a, um, one of those things, I don't want to throw anything away such as this because every little bit helps in my case. So. This is going to be used for something. All right, so here we go. All right, I can see fabric. Ooh, yeah, let's. Got my. Oh, this is gorgeous. I recycle these bags even, guys, so I'm going to be putting these little bags here. This is O M G. Let's turn it that way. So we're not getting addresses in here. All right. Look at that. Wowzers. <gasps> you got so many appliques. You can just do it like that, or you can cut out the appliques. But oh my God. That is beautiful bridal stuff. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I love this and I have look at that, guys. Look, 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 look. I don't know, there's about two yards of this here. She is such an amazing person. Love, love, love. Love, love, love this young Sue. This is gorgeous. I love the color. Um, it's got like a pinkish cranberry color to it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Salmon. salmon? You say salmon? Coral. Coral. I don't know. It's kind of dim in here right now. Um, so I don't know, but it's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to put the box on the floor. And I was telling her saying that I didn't have a whole lot of laces anymore that I've gotten rid of all this stuff and she oh my god look at that isn't that beautiful and there's a yard of that ooh we're getting an alert Brianna pause that sound heart muted Ooh, we got more of it. Look. Oh my god. 
That is absolutely stunning. Thank you so much. It is going to be used. It is going to be used. <laughs> I don't know what. Oh my God. I don't know what, but I was seeing something similar to this today. And you can put little pearls around here or metals. And I have something in mind for that. I have something in mind for that. Um, oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that applique. <gasps> Oh, I haven't had luscious things like this, guys. I have been so out of tune with things. I have not seen, seen beautiful things like this. So I have to pet it, pet it, pet it, pet it, because it's so beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, I haven't seen beautiful things like this, guys, in a very long time, because I haven't been crafting. Look at that. It is pink, beautiful, and you put little pearls. That's gorgeous. There's this other applique. Am I uh, focusing on something? Oh, this goes this way. So you can put it like that. It's huge. Look at that. Oh, I can see something beautiful coming out of that. That is gorgeous. And I love pearls. You guys know I love pearls. I have a fascination with pearls. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. There's probably about two good yards without unraveling all that. There's about two yards of this. Wow. Thank you so much, Young Sue. So good. For some reason, my camera keeps wanting to kind of pause on me. Okay, let me get some coffee. Coffee break. So, guys, I have to give you an update. I have lost, um, I'm down to about 142. I've lost a lot of weight. Um, ooh. There's two yards of this. Wow, am I a lucky girl or what, Brianna? Look at that. I'm so lucky. I haven't seen beautiful things like this in months, almost a year. OMG. The endless possibilities. You can coffee that. Look at all that. Just a little over two yards, actually. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Amazing. Okay. Brianna's supposed to be my assistant, but she's kind of over there on the corner. Look, there's like a little bit of um, pinkish colors with my favorite pearls. Zoom in, it seems like it wants to pause. So if you guys see that after this video, I do apologize for that, but look at that. And I have two of those. Oh, young Sue, you're too much. Oh, I remember this. This I used to have this when I had the store. Brings me back so many beautiful, it's gorgeous. I love this applique, and I've used it for a lot of projects. This is absolutely stunning. Absolutely, absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. I really appreciate all your beautiful appliques. You really didn't have to do that. Here's another one. I got two of these. Ooh, got lots of little pro. Ooh, this is I have not seen something like this. Oh, here's another yard, but I've never seen one like this one. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with that bag. We'll toss it to the side because I don't want you guys to hear crinkling. I know how much you guys love this out. What did you do, young Sue? Did you oh I've never seen this, but what did you do? Clean out your applique drawer and send them all over here? I have never seen this one. Not sure where you got it, but this is gorgeous. 
she's trying to get me to craft. Oh my god, I've never seen this one either. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh look, I got more of this one. I got four of them. Oh my god. Young Sue, what am I going to do with you? You are too much, Young Sue. Oh, oh, you are definitely a beautiful person inside and out. I can see a cameo there, but I have never seen one like this one. This is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous stuff, Young Sue. You must have a vault full of beautiful stuff. Oh my god. Look guys, it's got satin, it's a butterfly, and she knows I love butterflies because to me, butterflies represent peace, and that's what I'm all about now. I want peace, I want everyone to be happy. Oh, oh, I have never seen anything so beautiful in my life. Look at that. Brianna, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? And I got two of them, and it's a gorgeous applique. Absolutely stunning. This is amazing. Wow. Oh, my God, Young Sue. You are too much. Ooh, I remember these. These are gorgeous as well. You can put little pearls. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And she sent me four of those guys. Look at that. I think she's something else. You know, she was someone else. She sent me one, but she sent me four. Four. And then I got this beautiful gold one. I've gotten into doing a lot of stuff with gold. That is gorgeous. Set, there's about two yards. I kid you, two yards of this. Wow. Ooh, and I got another one of these. Three of these. Look, guys. I'm going to go get a clipboard and I'm going to get to decorating for school. As you guys know, I'm going to school. Oh, I've never seen this one either. I don't know where you've gotten these, but these are absolutely gorgeous. I got two of those. Mmm. These are stunning. I'm going to move these over here because I am going to I'm not putting it in a vault. They will be used, Young Sue. I promise you, I will use them. Um, I do will put, I think I'm going to figure out a way to put your name on everything so that we can figure out. Ooh, this is to distress denim. This denim distressing kit. That is us. Look at that, Nani. You can distress jeans. Distress, like when you, when you tear them up. Hmm. And you know we can make little bags, jeans out of recycled jeans. Oh yeah. We we can do that. A distress. Have you guys ever? I don't know if you guys have ever done a recycled use. I've used a lot of Brianna's old jeans that she's grown out lately. In the last, hmm, I would say the last four years, we haven't changed jean size, right? Yeah, so I haven't been able to recycle her jeans because she hasn't been changing much. Um, but I used to take all her jeans that she, um, she's never been one to outgrow. Her clothes has been, but whenever she outgrows clothes, um, I recycle them. I have to show them. Let me do that one there. This is, you guys are going to laugh, guys, but um, when I started paper crafting years ago, um, Brianna had the shirt that my mom gave her, gave, bought before she was born. 
and she wore this shirt up until she was about five years old. Um, it never fit her because she was a preemie. And so for the longest time, she always wore the shirt. And then when she was about five, it was like a little tank top, a mini tank top. So I did this little frame for it and put it there because she was always running around. So this is my, um, before I started to really get into crafting, this is what I considered my crafting back then. And I've kept that frame that we bought at a garage sale and I've still had that hanging around everywhere I go. Every craft room I'm ever in, I always have that hanging to remind me of how simple I used to be when I first started paper crafting back in 2008. Because I had no idea how to do any of that stuff. Okay, so here's a really nice thing. And we, I have done uh, purses out of some of her recycled um, jeans. I've done flowers, headbands, wristbands, um, cell phone holders. So this is going to be awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, oh, she knows I love, I love myself some... Uh, Prima Fenivar stuff. Um, I don't have any more, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got rid of all my stuff. And I love these. I've done a lot of projects, a lot of bottles using some of these little resins. And this is um, Sandra Evertson's. She actually lives here in um, Austin. So these are some of her casts. So those are gorgeous. And some pearls. And there's a little purse that's really cute here. See that, but look at that. Look at the pearls. Thank you, thank you. Love, she knows I love pearls. She's so funny. <laughs> Young Sue. Aside from the beautiful pearl dangles that I absolutely love, and I have used these a lot on shoes, and I can see why she sent them because you are. I have altered some baby shoes. I've been trying to go to thrift stores to see if I find some to alter. Um, and these look really stinking cute there. But I have altered some baby shoes that I have bought at thrift stores. Um, I haven't been around looking, but um, Yansu, you stinker. I know that you paid a lot for these because these are brand new. You are not supposed to be doing that. But we're going to alter that because I know I owe you a pair of shoes. So eventually you're going to get a pair of shoes. Uh, I love these, by the way. These are one of my favorite all time. And I remember when I had creating with details, I used to carry these. So thank you so much for bringing, sending me these. These are gorgeous. Brianna, you want to see if you can fit those baby shoes? Yeah. Not. <laughs> I can definitely fit them. Brianna feet. has tiny little feet. She has a size five feet. Um, her hands are tiny too. Yeah, tiny little hands. She was a tiny little thing when she was born. Oh, ooh, where did you get these from? I got two of them, guys. Look. Where's that? Isn't that beautiful? Aww. You really didn't have to do this, young so. I would have eventually gotten some stuff to make stuff. <laughs> this is really nice of you. Friends like you only come once in a lifetime. And you're an amazing friend. An amazing, amazing friend. Oh my God. Hey. remember this this was from the angel oh sue look at that but i can cut a lot of these out individually and make it last that way i can use it to drape over something or make an angel <laughs> thank you that's really sweet of you but you can cut these all out and you can make tons of stuff if you cut it out individually and all the other little scraps you can use it as snippets on other projects 
So thank you. Thank you, Miss Yang Su. <laughs> this looks familiar, Yang Su. That's beautiful. Again, I always look at things um, in a way that when I used to buy and resell stuff, what are the multiple uses of this particular trim or this particular applique? On this particular one, I can see myself cutting all these little individual pieces and doing like piecework um, on it. So there's like multiple little pieces that can be used in intricate pieces to give it an extraordinary detailed. So always pay attention to detail. Details is the, oh my God. I don't know if you guys um, saw some of my old videos, but I had altered a old shoe, a high pair, high heels, and then I converted it into a boot and I placed one of these in the back part of the, the heel and it came out really stinking cute. And I've also used it in one of my um, angel forms or dress forms. I've used it in a lot of projects. So thank you, Yang Su. That's very sweet that you shared some of your beautiful laces with me. And this is a gorgeous piece again. When I look at these, I look at all the fine little details, try to see what I can pull out in multiple ways to do piece work. And this is gorgeous. So thank you. It's a beautiful Venice lace. You have great taste. Uh -huh. And this, again, is a beautiful, gorgeous applique. It has a little dangly pearl with some sequins. It has like an iridescent look to it. And there's two of those. And again, here's another piece that brings me back so many wonderful memories to when I used to do some heavy core um, crafting. This is one of the pieces that I used to carry, so thank you. It brings me wonderful memories. Wonderful memories. Mm. That's gorgeous. It goes this way. Lots of piecework. I could see cutting, snipping it there, snipping it there, snipping it up here. So there's so many, like right here, you can snip that out and do some piecework. Um, you can snip this out and use it as a bracket. So it's an endless form of possibilities. If you're looking at an applique and you see it like this and you're thinking, how can I use that? Well, there is so many ways. You can use these in so many ways. Trim them around there. Use it as little brackets for um, journals or scrapbook layouts or whatever you have. And this is gorgeous. And of course, she sent me more than a yard because she's very generous. Um, you can little, put little pearls or metal embellishments there. And it's a beautiful Venice trim. She knows I love my ivories and my whites. And you are a little stinker. She sent me medals, guys. <laughs> I had no medals. So she sent me candles and some metal embellishments so that I can do some probably, are you looking at some steampunk or mixed media? Probably mixed media, some hinges. I used to sell these little cameos. Mm. Back when I had three little details. You don't remember that. And then I got some metal flowers. I think you guys used to see these when I had the store. Thank you, young Sue. And latches, because you know, these are really great when you're doing any belts or anything like that, you can use those. So thank you, my dear. I will put these into good use. Now i got to find uh, where to store it. 
My um, craft room is not really a craft room. It's now my study area because I go to school. And um, so my craft room is my study area. It's not really a craft room. And we have some, I love, I'm just going to go out and get some of this too. Burlap. And I was going to get some. So thank you. You must have been reading my mind. And there's, huh? Telepathy. Telepathy. Young Sue and I have a really good connection because she and I get along well, really well. Gorgeous trim. Now this looks like the creative details trims. Isn't that beautiful, guys? She's got good taste, huh? I would say she's got good taste. And this is one of my favorite trims that I used to use a lot. Oh my gosh. Again, you guys like, you took me down to memory lane. But she's giving me like, I don't know, there's probably about, I don't know. I would say without counting about five yards in here easily. There's about five yards there. And this is a beautiful trim. It's soft, like a cotton. Very pretty. Wonderful. About two yards of that. And this is another gorgeous trim. I used to carry this in the store when I had it. Y'all should remember that. And we can, again, cut out. All those little pieces can be used individually. You don't have to, you don't want to use the entire piece like this. You can do some serious piece work here and you have trim that will last you for several little projects. Especially if, you know, you can cut it around here and that could be a little dangle piece to something. Right here, snip it. You can tr cut this flower. Cut that flower and use that as piecework. So there's endless possibilities there. And then you can use these as well around pictures and frames. So. No, and I haven't made any craft projects um, in a year. Um, it's been a while. Ooh, and I love myself some Chinese braid, and this is my favorite. It's about a quarter of an inch, but it's so soft, so much easier to um, manage when you're going around corners, and this is gorgeous. I love it. Love, love, love. And I love the elegance of it. It's got a really nice, the embroidery stitch on this is really beautiful, and I love this, yeah. One of my favorites. I'm really picky when it comes to GIMP because there's some GIMP where it's like a nylon and so it tends to fray a lot easier. But this one is a more um, elegant, um, fine, satin kind of a feel to it. I don't know. It's totally different. There's GIMP and then there's that kind of GIMP. That GIMP is the best quality. Sent me some Prima metal embellishments. Ooh, there's a lot in here. There's nine pieces, and this is gorgeous. I don't think I've ever had this, so thank you. Actually, I've never owned this, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, and you know what? I I did not see any of this in a long time. I think they stopped making these, so I don't think anyone's selling this anymore. Maybe I'm wrong. I've never seen them. I guess I'm, I haven't been hunting around for craft stuff, but I have not seen this out in a while. So thank you. And I'm still digging. I'm still, still digging. And there she goes. She sent me um, more beautiful gimp. Again, this is that nice gimp. There's some gimp out there that's not the best gimp, but this is really nice. And this is where I normally go and get this kind of gimp. I'm always checking it out make sure it's that nice she knows which ones I like because <laughs> I'm always talking about the, the 
Gimp. This is the Joanne Gimp, and I love this Joanne Gimp. It's very nice. And you, I was telling her I didn't have any, I think stamp blocks? Yeah, I mean, rock a blocks. I've never seen these. Hold on. Let's see. I've never seen these. So basically, you take a stamp mountain on. Oh, yeah. And you can rock it. Because if you. One, how many comes in here? Two, three, four. Four sets of rock. I'm going to take them out of the little package. And it tells you right here innovative new ways to stamp, set of four blocks. You got a six by four, a six by one and a half, a four by three, and one and a half by one. By Crafter's Companion. I guess I should keep this little package because it tells you have you ever found it difficult to achieve the perfect stamped image? Do you find the stamped impressions patchy, uneven, or with smudge marks around them? The Rock a Block. Stamp mounting system is the answer to all of your problem with the innovative patented technology. The new system allows you to easily achieve perfect results with every impression. The blocks are designed to work using a combination of rocking, action, and death gauge that runners to give even pressure to the application of ink so there's no bleed. Hmm. And don't forget your stick and spray. Huh. I'll have to read that. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in because it has the instructions. I've never used it, but thank you, Young Sue. You're a stinker because I said I didn't have any of this stuff. And I'm always paying attention. Talk about paying attention to details. She's always listening to what I say, and she's went and got me some stamp blocks <laughs> and mesh bling mesh bling ribbon and there's like three yards of this wow that is nice look at that look at bling it up very nice well that is my happy mail from young sue young sue you're so kind i don't know um what I would do, you're such an amazing friend, an awesome friend, and um, I'm, I appreciate your kindness, your thoughts. You're always thinking about me. You're always checking up on me. You're always concerned about me, and I appreciate you like you can't imagine. So thank you so much, Yang Su, from the bottom of my heart, and um, from the bottom of the heart of my children as well. Randy, you want to say hi to Yang Su? You have to say it loud so she can hear you. She's busy chewing on her ice. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Young Sue. It's very appreciated. And um, I don't know what I'll create, but I will let you know what I create. Anyway, ladies, until next time, bye-bye.